welcome to my vlog Carl's fishing don't forget hit that like and subscribe button it's good to see you again and all that kind of malarkey that goes on I am currently on Cleveland's beach I've moved to Blackpool and in the next to the rest of this video we'll talk about why what and how and we'll cut to a home first and talk about there and then we'll do a little bit of fishing and then we'll come back to this video which is tonight which will be the second video so uh, enjoy the rest of the vlog Blackpool's a loose term really, I've moved to a place called Bispam, which is in between Fleetwood and Blackpool on the Fylde Coast. Why have we done that? Well, business is a little bit slow, I thought why not take the possibility or the advantage of house prices going up, houses a bit cheaper on this coastline and it was near to where I could go sea fishing, do videos and do course fishing an hour away from Cheshire, Manchester, the Lake District for game fishing. It was more prevalent to retirement to be honest and a change of lifestyle I've also got a job in Blackpool now as well which also helps immensely a new house sold my house bought a new house that simple so without further ado there's going to be more sea fishing obviously because I'm on the coast now five minutes from the beach literally five minutes from the beach and uh, carry on with the vlog it's good to see you again don't forget to hit that bell icon Well, it's kind of in between Anchor's home and Cleveland's. Not entirely sure the name of it. Yeah, I call it Cleveland's. So I've now got the kit all set up, two rods out. I've even got a little buggy as you can see there. And I'm loving it. I've gone over to the all hail of 525s century rod and I've still got my abus as well I might get another century so I've got the graphite graphx TT super match because I wanted that for the low water on here light rough medium to sand flat soft beach I'm happy with it I've also gone for the buggy like you can see there now the reason why I went for the buggy is is my lower back is terrible and pumping that seat box on the back kills the living daylights out of me so the buggy's going to help greatly different tripod i've got two tripods now three actually we've got two i've got the six foot imax icon should i say and i've got my super match five foot i may get a seven foot as well yet i don't know why but i just might do it's quite choppy it's looking quite bassy richard's with me we'll go and talk to richard in a minute over the shoulder there it's very windy but I'm loving it and listen thank you for watching again sorry I've not had any videos out like and subscribe hit that bell icon comment below if you like to see me again and I'll be out doing two videos a week sea fishing so yeah loving it yeah yeah loving it so let's see if we can catch something what are we fishing with right I'm using Yellowtail and squid and black. Uh, the bottom part of the rig, which is uh, a Portsmouth rig, I'm fishing with, or you call it a loop, loop rig. I've got one hose, and I'm fishing squid and black on the bottom, and yellowtail on the top. And I'm hoping that I pick some fish with that. I'm just watching the rod tips at the moment. Apologies for the wind again. Rich is fishing with his century rods. He's got the T900s, and he's also gone for the. Uh, it's got a set of 525s now. He's come off his fixed bill reels and he's also got some, uh, I can't think of the name of him now. The other ones made by uh, by Penn. You know, the dearer ones. Can't think of, for the life of me, what they're called. Fathoms, he's got the Fathom 15s. He says they're a bit wild for him, to be fair. He says he's struggling with them a little bit. But I've got a 525, so I'm happy with them. All hail the 525s. 
Right, enough with the twaddle. Sorry I not got the camp. I brought the tripod with me, right? But I left part of the tripod at home. Like a donut, or I'm not sure where it is. I'll have a look and try and find out where it's got to. So Rich has had the rods out two minutes and he's got something that he's going to really enjoy. He's got on the igloo now. But listen, I said to him about many years ago, two years ago when he introduced me to sea fishing, he said he was never going to use multipliers, he was never going to use this, use that, use that, and there he is, a bloody igloo. He's got an igloo, but he's got something else he doesn't like as well. He's caught a fish after he's just doing an Irish jig with his line. He was uh, dancing with his line. Guess what it's caught? Never seen him catch one of these before. A boot lace! Oh, I ate them. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it's actually a silver eel. A silver eel, not a common eel. You want some fresh water eel. Is it? Yeah. Cool. Got Luckily, he's lip hooked. Just oh, watch God. my line. It's a bit of a yeah, I'm trying to watch not. He's got his line everywhere. Well, it's caught an eel at least. I'm still waiting for the first fish on the new rod. And these are the rods he's got. He's got these reels here. Just look, he's got these. Very nice. We've got an eel. Yeah, but they're good because they're... They're alright because they don't wriggle around as much. Well, I don't know, they do. Do they? Yeah. They usually twist you up. There he is. Do you want to put him back? I don't want to put him back, you're alright. I really can't stand him. You're alright. Whoa, look at that. Richard's got his own little personal snake. He can make his own way back, look. Not just that. Well, yeah, but these are weird. They're just fresh at night. Richard, stop playing with it. I hope not. <laughs> Here oh. it is. If you're into course fishing and you know about the slime on bream, then things are horrible, aren't they? Who's it? <laughs> so, yeah, that is actually fresh water reel. Oh, cool. You know when they return to the sea? Yeah. They go on the end of my. Oh. Not for me, don't like eels. I've only caught one or two of them. Don't like them. Not for me. Well, you might not be able to see me, but it's not fishing too great, apart from that eel. Now, what I have been doing is do some pendulum casting. Um, we're trying the new kit and the fishing. I decided that I need to progress and move forward. Anyway, you might be able to see there's uh, got the tower in the background. The rod's doing well, I'm happy with the rod. It's very light, the graphics, graphics, or whatever you call it. It's very light compared to Richard's. Richard's got the older versions. Um, indication looks good. I've had a few knocks. Completely different rod to the Abu. It makes the Abu look like a toy rod. And it's a good rod, the Abu. The Sovereign, right? RX is a good rod. But it's nowhere near the quality of the Century. So I think I'm going to become a Century boy. Start using their kit a lot more because uh, it's worth the money. It's good kit. The 525s, I've got the Abus, which I love, the 650s, I've got the Elite and the High Speed, but I do like the 525s, the Mark 3s, the red ones, I like them. I was going to get the Mark 4s, but then I found out for a few people that the bearings aren't great. The next one I was going to get was the Fathom 15s, I may get them next year, yeah, Richard's got them, he's got them, but... I'll stick with the 525s for the time being. So, uh, currently 9.30, half an hour to high. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. And hopefully I can catch a fish when Rich is over there now. Has he caught one? I was thinking he's saying he's getting a few bites. But, uh, yeah. I've now dropped onto the sand eel. 
I'll go, eh? I'll go. Anyway, okay, if you can. There we go. Back out fishing, first fish, and you know what it's going to be, don't you? Doggy! Doggy! That's a, that's a rod's christened anyway. Yeah, Leaving a little bit, but yep, yeah, put that back. Happy days. Oh, don't try and bite me, I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> right, wait man, wait a Well, Rich, oh, turn this off. Well, oh, Rich has had a doggy, a little doggy, which is good. So, yeah, we're not blanked, we caught fish. Uh, it's not a great tide, it's like three meters down, eight and a half up, so it's not the best in the world. But I'm out fishing, most importantly. Oh, man alive, I'm happy to get that fish. Even though it's a doggy, it's still a fish. Yes. Anyway. In the future, I'll be spending some more time on here. I can't wait. I really can't wait this year now. I can't upload this video just yet, as well as still waiting for my internet to be sorted. Because where I'm living, the internet is really poor. So, uh, that's going to be a challenging situation, no doubt. Oh, love it. Again, thank you for being patient. And now I can focus on fishing. Sorting my house out, looking after my kids, and spending time with my girlfriend Debs as well. And I also get to sit, spend time with one of my friends as well, Richard here. And there's a few more friends I've got down as well that I'm going to do some videos with, like Ben, um, who owns a tackle shop, and I spend some time with Ben as well. And uh, a few more friends, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So if we don't get another fish tonight, I shall bid you farewell. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. So there'll be more videos coming out now, guaranteed. Especially when I live three minutes from the sea. Over there, on the Fylde coast. Three solid minutes and I'm here fishing. 15 minute walk. There you go, might even get a boat.